Welcome back to 1023 Culture, and uh, today we are in a different program called V Spatial. V Spatial is uh, is a way to link up to your computer and be able to work and uh, be productive while wearing your VR headset, being in really cool environments, and uh, be able to do things which are difficult to do on a regular computer. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a good variety here, and I want to kind of go over it real quick. You can see we're kind of sitting in a room. And the room is, well, it's a break room. You know, it looks like an office break room, a pretty nice office break room, to be honest. This is better than, certainly better than the one at my office, which is why I don't go into my office anymore. So, I'm trying to hold my head still, trying to move a little slower for you guys, because that's uh, one logical complaint, is that we move our head in the headset way too much. And uh, that causes you... The viewer to have a problem, but uh, you can see out there. You can see I have a really, I have a really, really cool view out the window, and uh, yeah, which is really neat. There's options for that. You can change that, change that view if you want to. Um, let's go ahead and get started here, though. If you look at this, we have a work zone down below. Grab and drop items onto this region, to display it, and then you have uh, an inter some interface up above. Okay, so let's uh, grab a controller here, and. Uh, Boom, boom. We have a controller in hand. Just going to put them, put them both in hand just for the heck of it because it just feels better to have both. Okay. And you can hear that. It's kind of letting you know. I could probably shut that off if I wanted to, but I, the sound isn't all that intrusive to me. Uh, we can get rid of the carousel and look this way. We can get rid of all those apps up above and, and, and be able to see that. Um, it, you know, what does that do for you? Well, if you are in, meeting with other people, uh, it's good to get that stuff out of your way to... Uh, be able to see their avatars better and collaborate differently. So let's put, we're not collaborating right now. So let's take a look at a, at a screen. We're going to grab this one right here and put it up. And lo and behold, we are at the, at the vspatial.com pricing page. Because that actually is kind of the long and short of it. What, you, know, uh, you know, what is this going to cost me to run? Uh, and if you know, for most people, the basic for free is going to be just fine. Uh, there's a few things you can't do. Uh, I think I, I can think of about three things. There's three things you can't do with with the free one that you can do with the with the Workspace Pro ten dollar a month one. Uh, one of them right here is remote access over the internet, and the value to this is if and only if you are working with a computer that is not on the same network you're in. Uh, say your computer is at an office, you need to access it, and you could access it, provided, of course, A, it is turned on, B, it is hooked up to the Internet. Uh, so you would have to have that. So is it possible? Yeah. Feasible? Yeah, I suppose. So next item is uh, remote access over virtual machines. Um, not many people are actually going to do that. Um, and then for five ninety nine a month, if you just want to add that, you know, to the free, this is probably the one that's going to be the most used to most people is group meeting up to sixteen people. Uh, that's a fair size in in, you know, in here. It'd be in this room right here. Uh, so for five, you know, sixteen people, most most of us only know one or two other people that are even working in a headset, let alone working with V Spatial. Uh, so V Spatial is a pretty cool program. Uh, so if the, if you get a few people on it, it's not bad for, for you to collaborate with people. Uh, you can share your work, you can talk to each other, you can host meetings. Uh, there's some good options. That really is the only, those, those three things right there are host meetings. Uh, there's some good options. That really is the only, those, those three things right there are really the only differences. Um, and if you are in a situation where that makes sense to you, then the $10 a month isn't much. There is also an enterprise. Let's go ahead and scroll back up to the to this here. Uh, enterprise is generally determined to be uh, a business application, and if you uh, own a business and you have several several people out there working remotely, uh, that might be, make the best option for you. Um, you know, there's it's so that's something to to look at. Uh, I don't have I don't own the business. Uh, I'm the only one working remotely like this. So we're going to pull down one more screen here. This is a, my, I have two monitors running. And right now my second monitor, as you can see, is running the Audacity, which is where I'm piping my sound into. Uh, 
Now we do have a third monitor. We're gonna put that right here in the middle for the moment. Very tiny, okay. But it's a third monitor. Uh, you can adjust adjust the size. I could adjust it to the 1920 by 1080 that these two are, and that wouldn't be a problem. So uh, vSpatial is a good program. Um, and that's the basics of you when you would be working in it. I, I, it, there is a pass through for the keyboard, um, and you can so you can actually visibly see your personal keyboard on your desk. I show it to you, but uh, just the way Oculus works, you, all you would see is a blank is a black box. So I'm not going to bother with that. So we're going to move. We're going to we have these going. I got to be careful. I'm starting to move my head a bit more. Um, Let's pull down some some things from here. These apps are just these these are essentially mobile apps is what is is how I kind of view them and I'll, and I'll show you why I say that because you look at this one right here. This is I could pull this up while I'm doing my regular work. I can pull this up and pull up a YouTube. Okay, and if I pull up YouTube on here, uh, there's that right there. So I pull up YouTube, and it loads up, and this is, it's just, it's, it's the mobile. It's a mobile app looking thing. It's not, and I'm not signed in, so you're just kind of looking at a food thing. Um, I think I clicked on it a while ago. So, and you can see just all the different, all, all the different things there. And you, if you, if you want to run a YouTube, or your Spotify, maybe you want your Spotify to be running on there. Uh, maybe, maybe, the, maybe th these are options for you. Um, so you could have that going while you're working, okay? Or maybe you just need to research research something for your work, and you don't want to for your work, and you don't want to take up another screen. You want to leave your other things up. This is an option for you. So next option here, we're gonna look at let's look at Outlook. And you notice every time I put a new one up, it just shoves everything off to the side, okay? And how what and how do you put it back in the middle? Well, you just grab it and you bring it back over and you stick it back in the middle. It's as simple as that. So Outlook, Outlook, uh, you can get, you can have your email, your Outlook email right there. I haven't set it up yet because I usually run it in the background on my VPN for work. And yes, I, it is VPN compatible. I run a VPN for work uh, all the time and I can run it through this and it works just fine. Um, say you have a, a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting. If you have a Teams or a Zoom meeting right here, you uh, have a webcam and a microphone. They would be seeing your avatar. Uh, th that that dashing person right there is me. That's is, is and so that's a good, is, is and so that's a good rendition of me as a Ready Player Me avatar. Um, I even was able to get a little bit of my gray. That's more gray than I have, but I'll take it. That's fine. So this is uh, and so these are your options. It's great actually. I think. So we're going to go ahead and click that. We're going to close that one out. We're going to click this one here. We're going to close this one out. You know, and uh, what do we have left here? Okay, we're going to get rid of this Outlook right here. Boom. Okay, and that leaves us with the two screens that we've been working with here. And I can work on these screens for hours. And, uh, you know, surprisingly, people ask about eye strain. And I don't have a problem with eye strain. And I'm, it's, it's never been a problem for me personally. So... Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's okay. So we're gonna kind of pull a couple of the things up because we uh, this is the remote connection. I have two computers. I could actually hook uh, both of these computers up at once. This one's try, uh, whereas this one right now is one is the one that we're viewing right now. You know the v, v spatial page. So you know let's uh, engage that screen and backspace this so we can just kind of go over. The basics, uh, you know, of v space of vSpatial is is I think it's a really good program, and I think if you're somebody that can you know that works with a couple of monitors, if you have a three monitor set up, it's going to give you three three monitors automatically. Uh, if you have if you if you I run a two monitor set up at my home, so these two monitors automatically set up anyway, and then I get a third bonus one. Um, so I found it to be a pretty good program, and I, and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, uh, if you, if especially, I mean, with the free on this, you can do 
so much with it. Immersed has a free one that you can also do a whole lot with. Lot with, and I think that's great that they're giving you these entry entry levels. There's the basketball thing. I don't play basketball, and so I I don't want to make myself look like an idiot trying to throw a basketball. Uh, so, but this is the program. This is I think it's great, and I, and I would encourage you to. Uh, because uh, it's so easy, it's to, you download it onto your computer, and then it really is. After that, it's just a matter of firing it up in your in your in your headspace in your in your, uh, in your headset. Your headset recognizes the, the computer, and you're good to go. And so that makes it very simple, very user friendly. Uh, There's a couple of things that I've I've seen that are a little bit uh, eh about it. Um, you see how when I move from one screen to the other, that, that cursor changes dramatically? Uh, it can be a little out of, out of control. I've seen that cursor change into some really weird things. Uh, page break, uh, you know, like from, from, you know, like from, from the page break symbol, I've seen it become that. Uh, see, when I click on it, that bottom bar comes up, comes up there, okay? And when that, when that bottom bar comes up, now I can access the items on this screen. So then I come back over here, and the bottom bar comes up on this one, and I can access the things on this screen. So um, I have contacts, I, you know, this programs files. There's lots of options of things to do in here, and uh, so uh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, there's 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 no problems checking this out for free, and there's no, it's not like there's a time limit. You don't sign up for free, and then you, you don't have to give them your credit card. I love that. You sign up, you get it going, and it's free. You, you only pay if you want to upgrade. Now, they're not, they want you to upgrade, sure, but and I do have the upgrade. Um, but for 10 bucks a month, it's not that big of a deal. It's less than Netflix. So especially, so I'm going to go ahead and kill that, kill that screen. And anyway, uh, but this is vSpatial. Tell me what you think. Is there uh, another program that you're interested in, uh, in, in seeing being uh, uh, reviewed for production? Uh, for enterprise purposes, uh, I've, I've done Immerse and I've and I've done vSpatial. I know that there's one called Control Room. Uh, it uh, they're still only stuck on one screen right now. Come on, there we go. One took a minute for it to even recognize my finger. So, so there's only one screen on on, on it often. Uh, so uh, they are working on getting multiple screens, virtual monitors. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, uh, give them some time and uh, and how much they're going to charge. I have no idea. So, but this is uh, but this is V Spatial. Be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you know, tell people about the channel. Um, tell me what you think about this. Give me some, give me some uh, give me some comments on uh, how well did I hold my head still? Did you feel like you were getting sick? I'm trying to avoid that. So uh, anyway, thank you very much. God bless. Have a great day. And uh, be sure to uh, um, just hug your hug your family and uh, love on love. On